For six years, Hosni Mubarak has been in a military hospital facing multiple charges. But the one that's kept him in custody relates to the deaths of nearly 900 protesters during the uprising in 2011 that pushed him from power. He stood accused of ordering security forces to fire on demonstrators. Four years after being sentenced to life in prison, Egypt's highest judicial authority cleared him of the charges, leaving him free to go. Mubarak being in prison or out of prison doesn't change the fact that the regime that took control of Egypt in 1952 continues to rule Egypt to this day. Um, his role in Egyptian politics right now is of limited consequence. Uh, it's more about a sense of injustice that while many revolutionaries today are in prison, he is about to walk free, or he, is a, he has actually just already started to walk free. The 88-year-old had ruled for 30 years. The 18-day revolt in 2011 led not just to his downfall, but also the rise of a new leader, Mohamed Morsi. Democratically elected as president in 2012. A year later, the military deposed Morsi in a coup. The man who took his place as president in 2014 was this man, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. He was Mubarak's former head of military intelligence. And as Egypt's president, he has overseen the widespread crackdown on supporters of the banned Muslim Brotherhood, as well as other activists. Mubarak and his sons, Allah and Gamal, were convicted of corruption in a separate case and sentenced to three years in jail. But taking into account time already served, Mubarak's sons walked free in 2015, leaving Mubarak to await the conclusion of a retrial over those protesters' deaths. His acquittal and now his release brings that lengthy and controversial legal process to an end. There are those in Egypt who argue the country Mubarak returns to is a very different and arguably much improved place. But others say Egypt has simply come full circle. Most of Mubarak's officials are also no longer in custody, while many of those in Egypt's jails are the activists and critics who once raised their voices against him. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.